عجبا لأمر المؤمن إن أمره كله له خير وليس ذلك لأحد إلا المؤمن How wonderful is the case of a believer there is good for him in everything and this applies only to a believer When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put test in your way know that in that very moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also blessing you in a way that you might not be able to comprehend so whatever you're going through don't let it overshadow the blessings that are happening in your life and the blessings that are already in your life there's khair in everything that happens to us good morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here and you're clicking one of my videos for the first time then marhaba ahlain hosh kal dunis safar lar gisir dunis today is 18th of february 2024 i know we know what year we are in but i just like to say that um this morning i woke up not having <laughs> any sort of energy like i don't mean that literally <laughs> i mean like i woke up feeling so low and energy and so down mood wise but um i tried to do some stuff one of them is vlogging because guys vlogging gives me some sort of <laughs> motivation someone has to do a case study on that because i don't know what it is but sometimes it really gives me energy boost you know what i mean but yeah i was not intending to vlog today but here we are and this thing guys i live in this thing <laughs> i live in this thing like 24 7 i'm wearing this thing anyways um i tried to do some stuff and force myself where do i put the camera or should I just hold it like that? Wait. I was saying I try to do some stuff even if it's like so small because I feel like I feel like when I don't do anything then the rest of the day is kind of set in motion because that's how my day will be. Like if I don't get up and do something, even if that thing is small, then I feel like that whole day will not be productive for me. Um, and when I say productive, I don't mean like doing ev some something in like every second of the day. I just mean like I will not get out of bed. <laughs> Literally okay um so i just try to do um small portion of everything for instance if i were to work out i will just do like 10 minutes um because something is better than nothing again so this morning i was talking to myself trying to convince myself to do something even if that thing is so small and i remember this hadith there's hadith that says the acts most beloved to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or most pleasing to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the ones that are done uh, the ones that are done is small the ones that are small but done continuously or consistently in other words also guys there's this book that I was reading not reading audiobook I I love audiobook I'm such an audiobook girl guys um, I was listening to that audiobook the other day it's called The Slight Edge first of all I recommend you guys to read that book it's amazing uh, it talks about habits and habit formation and all of that so in that book the author says that habits that are small but measurable and done in consistent way they are the ones that eventually feed our progress or feed our success and i was thinking that is exactly what the hadith this hadith is conveying are these people stealing our hadith and making a, a book out of it? We need to also do a case study on that. Anyways, guys, I try to work with the energy that I am feeling on any particular day. And so if it's, for instance, if it's like 20%, I'll try to work with that 20% energy and do uh, work or something that is equivalent to that energy. Like I will not go overboard. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain. <laughs> So that's that. Um, also, guys, there's this hadith that says, "In Allah, you have to do if one of you does an work and you I'm gonna put the hadith here because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Uh, the translation is, "Allah Subhanahu wa Taala loves when one of you does something to perfect it or to do it with excellency." And I was looking at that hadith, and it says that perfection here means like to do it well and thoroughly. So anytime that i'm doing like anytime i'm doing anything i try to in my head i try to have the intention to do this thing well for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's try to keep that in mind next time you do something try to do it for the sake of allah and also try to not be a perfectionist i mean like perfectionism is not something nice um i know that because of experience i dealt with perfectionism and guys let me tell you it's not healthy it will keep you um procrastinating all day long Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees our effort so whatever you do dunya wise akhra wise try to strive to try to strive <laughs> strive to do the best your absolute best and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always 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 sees our effort so yeah that's that and now I'm gonna go to the chicken chicken Allah oh my god I said chicken I'm gonna go to the kitchen <laughs> I'm craving for 
oats with the strawberry and banana. So let's go to the kitchen. I'm using this oats and this milk, strawberry. Add milk first, then add the oats. I'm adding sesame oil because I love sesame oil with my oats. And then I'm going to add black pepper. Oh my god, that's too much. I'm going to put it in the whatever that thing is called. And then I'm going to add my fruit, like that. Not aesthetics. And honey, that's almost finished. And I'm going to add coconut flakes. That instantly makes it look like this is beautiful breakfast. This looks so yummy. Alhamdulillah. Guys, I love podcasts and my favorite podcast right now is a Sudanese podcast called Wanna Sama'a Ossa. It's so amazing and they uploaded a new episode last night. Let me show you. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, it's 1.42 p.m. Um, and I'm trying to edit this vlog that I filmed. Let me show you. Okay, this, from, this vlog is from January and now it's February so after a whole month i'm trying to edit this vlog so if you're watching this video that means i already uploaded this and yeah so proud of myself still i'm one month late but it's it's better than nothing okay um so i'm i'm i have a quran class in like 30 minutes and then i'm gonna call it a day Alhamdulillah, Sadana Bakhir. Alhamdulillah, Kulushayim Bakhir, Wal Usra Kulum Kuisin, Alhamdulillah, Sadana. Keep a Haluku, keep a Halus Rutuki. Alhamdulillah, Guys, I just finished the Quran class and I'm just gonna call it a day and then I'm gonna sleep like no, I mean, Jiddin, Jiddin, okay? Salaikum. So, Today it's 19th of February 2024 and it's um, 4.30, no 14.34. Yesterday I woke up feeling super low and not having like, I was feeling a bit down and after breakfast I didn't feel like doing anything so I, I allowed myself to just stay in bed and just be like that and not force myself. Um, the thing is, I feel like the past couple of weeks or <laughs> couple of months, if I'm being honest, there are a lot of things that were happening in my life and I am the kind of person who dismisses herself. Like I don't emotionally validate my feelings and my emotions, I just invalidate them, which is like not a nice thing to do and not a good thing to do. And from like, I am someone who knows one or two things about mental health and I don't know why I actually do that. It's such a... Uh, subhanallah like i i think i think the things that you grew up doing will always linger around because i've always been someone who set emotions for like i used to set <laughs> this is kind of funny you know when you have emotions and or let's say like you experience something that was very traumatic and then you experience something that is less traumatic then what i what my brain would do is that the first one that was very traumatic would be like a benchmark for any other thing after that that i feel what i mean by that is like i would set benchmarks for my emotions and if a certain emotion doesn't meet a certain intensity then i'm like oh you know i've dealt with something that is much stronger than this then it's gonna be okay like it's okay don't worry about it don't i really am so good at dismissing myself and not feeling any type of emotions and the like i think since 2020 i've been trying to be a bit kind to myself and compassionate towards myself because i i expect so much from myself and i am so self-critical and i am like like someone who wouldn't and i know all of these things are not in like inherently bad like to expect some things from yourself is not inherently bad but the way i see it is like if i don't meet those certain expectations that i set for myself then i am a failure and so 
the thing that I was trying to deal the thing that I was trying to do was to be a bit kinder to myself and I was on this like uh, self healing journey for a while which I just do it on my own I never share with people or talk about it or any of that but I was trying to just be nice and kind and compassionate towards myself and I realized that it has been very helpful if I'm being honest but I realized that there is certain things that it's so hard to get rid of like for for instance validating my emotions sometimes I am so like I'm like okay so what like it's gonna be like I don't I don't even know how to put this but like it's just I wouldn't allow myself to cry because I'm like that's so stupid like what like it doesn't like why would you cry over something like that and even <laughs> I would set benchmarks for my for the things that deserve to be like the things that deserve my tears, <laughs> which is crazy apparently. I run out of breath and I just realized that it's not a, as easy to explain this thing. And I also realized that I was not looking at the camera the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but like, I mean, um, it's not easy to explain emotions. I'm trying to find the best way to articulate this and I, it's getting a bit hard because first of all, uh, I do stumble a lot on my words and whenever I do that, I have to cut it out because then the video is going to be so long and I'm, it's just me yapping, 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 you know. I used to say that it's English, but I realized that I'm not also so good at exp uh, I'm not also so good at expressing myself in any of the other languages that I speak, especially my mother tongue, Somali. But anyways, hey, I, I digress. What I was saying was, um, let's try to be a bit kinder to ourselves and be, you know, compassionate. And um, yeah, uh, I don't. I know it's not healthy. I know it's not good. I know it's not. It's not gonna help you in the long run, you know, the emotions do have a tendency of coming around and then it's gonna come stronger than before and it's gonna hit you and it's gonna be, yeah, so that's that. I have no other thing to add that. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. But yeah, I'm just gonna post this on my YouTube because I want to have this kind of videos where I just talk to the camera like like diaries of my 20s oh i should name that <laughs> i should start a series called diaries of my 20s and then in the future i can look back at those videos and be like okay inshallah uh in somali we say hadu ilahi naftano dayo which means i actually don't know how to translate that i'll just write it down here anyways that's it salam